Hi friends, welcome. I am Lynn from L and J Goods. No need to shout. Lynn. I just want to make sure that I can be heard. <laughs> <laughs> the last time we were alive, we had a little bit of a well, we know what that was from now. What was it from? I don't you remember. You were holding the iPad. That's and right. And I was around. put under yes. furniture and everything else. So yes. hopefully everything is good be <laughs> on our end. Welcome. I am Lynn. This is Ellen J. Goods. Megan is here with me today. Welcome reluctantly. To the, welcome to the Basement Chronicles. Only reluctantly because I am busy as a bee filling everyone's orders and I didn't, I was in a good flow and I didn't want to stop. Yeah. Myself. And we've had, oh my goodness. Deliveries and deliveries coming. We have two very exciting launches I tomorrow. To the that are <laughs> we're just Haven't like even yeah, we're excited. Two exciting launches tomorrow. Honestly, three. What's the third? You count the spooky one. Oh, that's right. Three. Oh my gosh. So if you get our emails, you will get an email about that. If you get our text, I'm going to send you guys a text. And if not, I guess that's, you just figure, you. You figure it out. <laughs> anyway, we are here in Medina, New York. We have a little brick and mortar shop that's between Buffalo and Rochester, not far from Canada, maybe a 45 minute drive from the Canadian border. And so you are always welcome to visit us here um, at the shop if you uh, can't make your way here then by all means give us a follow on youtube subscribe I want to facebook the whole thing i'm a bob this is a good time to remind people about our text I, I, I will i will i sure will so um we are not uh now i'm totally thrown off <laughs> well you were listing the ways that they get can get in touch with yes us, so, so we are streaming live to youtube and facebook but <laughs> oh can we ever do this i i just want to do this flawlessly one time okay just one time okay good luck <laughs> anyway so you can um again via email text or um or youtube or facebook or instagram, instagram. but here is our text number that's the best way in my opinion yeah it is to keep it is. up with what's going on. I don't send a whole bunch of texts. I really don't. But uh, you can also find all this information right in the description box on YouTube. Yes. So, um, and you can also find it up in the About section um, on um, Facebook. So, welcome, you guys. Megan's here. Um, JR just walked in from a, an appointment. Good. I can't wait to hear how that went. It took half Let's my talk knowledge. about it right now. <laughs> no. <laughs> Mom would die. Listen, I, first of all, I want to start this by saying buyer beware. Okay? okay. Now, um, you know I love gold frames. I love gold frames and I will find them, will fix them, will do all kinds of cool stuff with them. And um, I was looking for a 1970s, that Sirocco, you know that Sirocco look that I could actually take from that gold styrene to um, like a faux stone finish. And one of our followers sent me a link to somebody's YouTube, and it was from a long time ago, where he did that. And I loved the effect, so I hooked her up with the right colors, because they used a different brand of paint. And so I thought, well, that would be a great live to do. But when I read the description and saw the original price was $225 for this mirror. Now, if it were in perfect condition, I don't know, maybe Sirocco um, from 1973 goes for those prices. I know some of them do, depending on the condition, the maker, and all of that. But um, uh, then it was reduced to 125 and then it was <laughs> reduced to 60 So I made an offer of $50, and he said, absolutely, of course. Well, it said, it said it was solid wood. It said it was solid wood. This ain't solid Tap wood. On it. Tap on it. No. This is not solid wood. 
So ultimately, I ended up getting the piece that I was originally looking for to redo, right, and show this technique. I, I didn't want to spend $50 for that. I would have preferred to spend maybe 30 to 40. Oh, but it was ended up being for, you know, a, a church um, thrift thing and okay. whatever. It was okay. It's all okay. This is going to be beautiful when it's done. And I love doing these faux effects. So, have you ever gotten somewhere to pick something up or you've paid for it and got there and it's like, uh-oh, this isn't exactly what I had bargained for? I bet that's happened to you a lot. It has happened, not as much as you would think for as many years as we've done this. You're pretty shrewd. I'm pretty shrewd. You are pretty shrewd. And um, we've, we've learned to like, oh, here's a case in point. And then we'll say hello to a few people. I'll talk about some of the things that I'm going to be using. We'll say hello in a minute. Um, case in point, we found, I found this incredible, um, uh, a source that had um, described a red leather uh, chair and ottoman mid-century. Like, I am, we are all over that, right? Mm -hmm. You give me red leather and we put it in the shop, we can sell it when it's in good condition. And this was beautiful. So um, she didn't want any payment in advance. She said, well, when you get here, you know, blah, blah, blah. So JR drove to the Rochester area um, this week, one day, and got there and messaged me and said, it's bonded leather. What does that mean? Bonded is fake. It's faux leather. It's a, okay. it's a it's a they take leather um, even well no it was probably vinyl if it was from mid century but today's bonded leather that you often find on the backs of sofas the sides of leather sofas that is um, they take leather product and they grind it all up they make a slurry slush Ew. whatever and add plastics to it and everything else and they bond that to a backing and many of you probably have it I get the question all the time can I paint over that it's peeling and flaking and I say not unless you want your new paint job to peel yeah. and flake because it will continue to do that so um, wisely JR um, knew what to look for and he called me on the way home and said no it's not real leather and the the woman felt terrible she felt so well, bad but it originally was because there was a piece there that was from the chair when it was originally leather but there are certain parts of it that they had managed to keep leather in certain points, but the reupholstered job was Oh, not, it had been reupholstered. Re okay, so yeah. that's the key, because right now I'm having like yeah, a, she's like, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? There was a leather swatch <laughs> with the tag? No. <laughs> okay, no. as long as you're confirming that, oh, otherwise I was gonna be mad at you for the rest what of the they, night. <laughs> what they had ripped off when they reupholstered it. Gotcha. Okay. Well, that makes sense. And and you know the thing is, it was a beautiful chair. Um, it really was structurally very very nice and would be just the kind of thing that I'd want if it was leather and if I was into reupholstering right now, which I'm not. Which is why we're here. We're trying to clear out this basement <laughs> so that I right. can reupholster again. Are we done? Again. We're done saying. Oh my gosh. Well, okay, Megan. Who do we? Have? have here today well we have many people here because we're many. deep in now but i did want to read one important comment yes kimberly says hi ladies i just have to compliment you on your wonderful customer service my <gasps> orders came so quickly clear to oklahoma thank you oh, and i would I like to personally say you're welcome kimberly that was all me. oh kimberly that i'm telling me, you megan <laughs> who did that yes in in the era of potential hazardous shipping which yes. can happen we had one happen this week um it's pretty rare but it is rare it's yeah a when it does happen. um we are so glad to hear that and know that everything arrived safely we we do take that very seriously mm -hmm. that you would get your orders oh i opened the wrong doggone color a brand new yeah but that's okay because i've got a i want to show how it's done see see this is my life did you already take that out of inventory? Not or would yet. Would you like me to? It's chocolate. Okay. 
I see that. So one of the questions that very often comes up when you guys see my um, my little hole in the top of my fusion lid is why do you have a hole in the top of your fusion lid? Well, I'm going to tell you why. We, I do that so that I don't have to mess with horrible, horrible, sticky lids with paint all over them. And this, um, I'm going to dump that back in. This first originally, I heard of this idea from Donna at, uh, at Funky Junk Stencils. And then I kind of modified it. She, um, she drills a hole in the top and then um, puts a piece of masking tape over it to seal it up. Then JR said, hey, what about a cork? I don't know if that would work. Donna didn't use a cork. <laughs> and so I tried it and sure enough, it works better than the tape. BJ Simmons is here. Oh my gosh, hi BJ. She says she's been so busy getting ready for her cute little Henry to oh, arrive in my Oh, she hasn't I know. Come to watch you, but missing you and your Oh my goodness! So I'm getting so glad you got to pop on. Yes, getting compliments left and right on your hair and nails. Oh, thank you. One thing I did not do yesterday because I, I arrived at my. Oh, what a story that is. Well, I don't even need to I get into it. I heard all about it. <laughs> in okay, with the older fusion paint. There is that seal. With the newer ones, they're self-sealing. So there's no paper in the top of this, okay? So here is what I do. I get this really big drill bit, right? And I'm gonna face my camera down so you can see it, what I'm doing. Do we have lots of folks on? Yes, lots oh, of Oh, I'm so here. glad. Mary Casey was not the first one. Today oh, you're kidding. On <gasps> Here's Mary. who preceded her. I'm Al, shocked. Lori, Danielle, wow. Janet, and Lucien all preceded Mary Casey today. Oh. She was in the top top ten. Well, she usually is. She's yeah. usually number one. Yeah. Nina's here, Donna, Lori. Sandy Roberts. Oh, you guys. Did I say Mary Jo? Wendy? Joyce? Alina. Hey, Mary Jo, what's for lunch today? You already know. I know. I Patrice just like to ask her. Here. Hi, Patrice. Brenda, Elena, Suzanne, Jana. I'm grabbing a piece of wood. Hold up, guys. Hey, Vicki. Hi, Tommy. Linda. He was on YouTube. Laura Hall's here. Hi, Laura. How are you feeling? Patty Levine is here. All right. Stephanie's here. Look at Lynn Brundage is here. Yep. Hi, everybody. Welcome. <laughs> I'm back. And Deb Bird is here. Hi, and Deb. She wants to be first just once. I wish you could. I wish you could. Um, this beautiful manicure. I, I have a question um, while I'm prepping this. So I get dip powder. I was getting gel. Then I got, then at the salon where I usually go, told me, oh no, you want dip powder. It'll dry up, dries out your nails. Bad for your nails. I like so, the hybrid. So listen, I go to a different place yesterday because I messed up my hair appointment time. And I'm like, well, I'm going to use this time to get my nails done. And she looked at me almost in disgust, said, oh, dip powder. No, you want to use gel. <laughs> gel. Better for your nail. Won't ruin your nail. <laughs> I've heard the best is one oh, layer, one layer of dip powder, and then the top layer is gel. That's what I've heard. Well, who knows, Megan? No. Well, I just feel like in between seems best. Here's what I'm going to do. Can I'm I gonna... just welcome someone? It's their first sure. time. Of course. Jolie, I hope that's how I say your name. It's her first live ever. Jolie, welcome to Crazy Town. Yes. Please. 
I, we're so glad you're here. We hope you'll give us a chance. Should we have technical difficulties, audio difficulties, an argument yeah. in front of all of you, yeah. um, the uh, the air conditioning going on and making yeah. a horrendous sound, yeah. um, any number of things, chance barking, so a UPS things. delivery. <laughs> um, <laughs> who didn't we have somebody who listens regularly that's like a nail tech? Oh, Who yes. Who was that? Tell us what's best. Who was that? It's going to drive me crazy. All right, I'll you guys. Wait. I have a very large drill bit. I don't know the size of this. It just was the biggest one in my little kit that Mr. Brundage shared with me. He made me my own little kit. I am putting this on a wood block, and I'm drilling down... Actually, what I want to do is put it in the right direction, yeah. and I'm going to drill. Backwards. Hmm? You're going backwards. I thought I was going backwards before. <laughs> oh! Yeah. Mom, and there's paint on that lid. Okay. That's so. a worse mess than just opening <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my gosh. There's paint all on the top of that lid. Do I paint on my face? <laughs> it's all, look on the other lid. It's all splattered across the Okay, lid. well, that's all right. It's, you know what? This happens, you guys. Hold this lid down. Elena says gel nails have ruined her nails. Wrong way. Deborah says gel doesn't last with what we do. I always use dip. I, you know, who knows, you guys? Who knows? Hey, Debbie. All right, so <laughs> this is really good. Oh, Judy said, or a never-ending live that doesn't get turned off. Exactly. That happened. Did you tell JR you? about that? No. I, are you kidding? I would don't want to lecture. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see it. Oh, no, oh, I edited that, that real quick. Yeah. Um, after you've cleaned up your mess... <laughs> What I didn't do is I didn't hold my lid down and I or, went too fast. Or just make sure there's no paint on the Well, inside. you can't because the paint, paint is... Yeah, there's that little paper in there. You didn't hear what I just said. There's no paper seal anymore because Fusion has changed their tops. They're self-sealing and they don't put that paper lid in there anymore. Well, Now that I'm doing my jars like this, I wish they did. Yeah, that's troublesome. You are. A well, you know what? It's not the first time. The first time I did this um, and had this happen, it happened to spray all over Why Laura Jean. Just... <laughs> you could, couldn't you just drill it while it's on the can? I mean, you could, and then just rinse off the drill. Bit. That's what I would say. Why not? Yes, we'll try that that's from now lot. on. And all the pieces. Yeah, well, but you don't want to get any of this. You don't want to get like the plasticky bits in your paint. You know what I mean? Oh, well, I guess fine. Yeah. So then we do this. Chance. I really was so excited to share this with you guys. I really was. <laughs> yes. Look at you. Look like you've been into the chocolate pudding and a little toddler. Look at the can of paint itself. Just smeared like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those beautiful new nails. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Megan. Uh, okay, here's a practical question from a lady named Patrice Swipes. Okay. <laughs> Where do you buy the corks and what size are they? Well, <laughs> we don't buy them. <laughs> Um, how did we come across those corks, Jr.? They were from uh, a restaurant supply, and let me see how many we have. <laughs> Lena doesn't even know why we're drilling the hole in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know why we said it. I thought the title of this was a faux stone effect. <laughs> The hole is so that, because you know when you use Fusion, and if you're like mom, you never wipe off the jar before putting the lid back on, then we're prying it open with a butter knife. <laughs> right now I'm wiping off. The foam. <laughs> my friend sent it my cork never. with every jar of Fusion. <laughs> we probably have enough of them. them. And she can show them. Okay, so 
And what size chair? Can you grab me a couple of corks, please? Put a cork in it. <laughs> what size bit? Like yeah, what size, did you what size bit is that chair? I don't know. But could you rinse this off, please? Yes, dear. And then I would actually go a little bit larger on that bit. So then you just pop a cork in there. And then when you're ready to pour your paint, you just pop it out. But if you're not like JR and you don't just squeeze it out, and you don't just happen to have a drawer labeled corks that has a miniature perfect size cork <laughs> for your fusion paint, you can just put a painter's tape over the hole and that would be fine. Yes, you can. <laughs> but look, I mean, my lids are horrible. I'm using three colors of paint today. I'm using, um, I'm going to use, well, this seems to be a mix of chocolate <laughs> and, and, <laughs> Today. Well, listen, Dana has COVID and pink eye. Oh, <laughs> just oh. Oh my Mom. <laughs> Okay, I think we need to shut this down. <laughs> this is so bad. She's absolutely oh, out of control. No, and I have not been drinking. No, no, no. Okay. And then we pop that cork right back in there. It has been working flawlessly for me. Okay, Linda is our nail tech. Acrylic gel dip, none of it is good for your nails, but right. I love acrylic and do a lot of them. And she says rubbing alcohol in a cotton ball will remove the paint from your gel nails. Well, you want to know something, Linda? Linda, um, <laughs> I'm going to start painting my fingernails with fusion. <laughs> I think that's a great idea. It'd be cheaper, I think too. so. Linda said maybe you need a drink. Mm -hmm. I don't know what is going on. I, I don't either. Oh, your poor dish. Your poor brush. Oh <laughs> I think we should go. Oh my God. I, I, I don't need those corks anymore. I think anymore. it's time to start tucking, winding mom for mom to start winding down for her nap. <laughs> she, I need to settle her down and read her a story. <laughs> she needs a little. Oh, you guys. A little time for her to have a little nap. Woo baby all right let's get to this tutorial okay we just saw how to, well the best what i've been finding is a lovely way to um uh, to um save my jar tops and i promise you it works great just hold that lid lid so it doesn't spin paint all over and you should be good all right what I did, what I did first to prepare this, I sanded this lightly, this frame, and I took the mirror out, and I put it aside, took the masonite off, and then um, I put a coat of Fusion Ultra Grip on this because I really do want this to stick, all right? And now I'm gonna do a base coat over this whole thing with um, a, a black paint. I'm using cast iron. And then I'm gonna mix a little bit of fresco with it. It's a texture paint. And I'm just mixing that with my brush. I This is not a, a science by any means. <laughs> is anything that I do a science? <laughs> I don't even know if I can bake a proper so cake it. anymore. Mary said, where's the sound machine when you need it? I would love some <laughs> blooper sound effects. It would have been great in there. Wow. It's been bloopers. It's been bloopers. Yeah. And it's only Wednesday. I actually think we should add to the description that we added the bloopers to the beginning of our life instead of what most people do at the yes, end. Right. And then everyone will just think this is just... <laughs> How it's supposed to be. It's what great. We're meant to do. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. We like to get our bloopers over with the first oh. ten straight minutes of a life. <laughs> All right. Oh my gosh. Oh my word. I just and I have gloves here, you guys. And Lynn, I have Lynn gloves can't see here. Anything that you're doing. So. Well, I I've, I've got it switched down now. <laughs> All right. How's that, Lynn? Better. A okay, so what I want to do is I want to get a rather thinnish coat. What the fresco also um, thickens the paint just a little bit, and also, um, God, I'm 
so afraid that's gonna. Do you want me to go get the weights, Mom? I already have them. It's this that I'm worried about, but it's okay. I think I'll, I'll be able to manage as long as nobody bumps into you. <laughs> did you? What did you do? I'm sorry if you already mentioned it. What I used Ultra prep? Grip. Okay, Ultra Grip. I sanded, cleaned it up, and then I used Ultra Grip. Let the Ultra Grip dry according to the package directions. Now, I've mixed my paint with Fresco just to make it a little chalkier, and that, and those minerals are actually going to help to, um, they're, it's going to help with adhesion and to really um, harden this paint even more. So I want to spread, I have way too much mixed there, oh my gosh, but that's what happens. I'll use it on something else. So I've got some old cruddy brushes here. Yes, even our stall meesters get used so much that they eventually just get yucky. Cool. Isabel said, not only do I feel you saved me from your one video I saw when you went away on your ladies' trip. What what video was that? You mean like mom and I on a trip? Oh, when we... She said, now your laughter really has made my day. Oh, good. Everyone's laughing with us, mom. Good. Maybe at us, and I don't even I'm, care. I'm sure. And, and I'm... Oh, look! What? <laughs> Where did that <laughs> come from? Somebody must have made that. I don't want to get paint on Please, that. mom, it's fine. No, we don't know who sent it. And that would be horrible. <laughs> Can you get me an apron? YouTube show called Megan's Kitchen that I filmed <laughs> <laughs> right here at night. Okay. <laughs> now, now you know. Now, now you know gonna see my it. pants. Oh my gosh. Where did I even find? I know where Doggy. That was funny. <laughs> totally random, you guys. Oh goodness. Listen, it's not even Fun Friday. Not even Fun Friday, you guys. Oh. All right, and so I'm just gonna go around this. Hopefully by the time I get around to the other side, um, my paint is so such a nice thin layer that it will probably uh, just about be dry and ready to apply the next color. <laughs> I should have been I am. Oh, that. <laughs> I am dying. Who gave you that? Mom, I gotta think it through. I don't know who did. I, at first I thought I never saw it in my life. You know what? An apron <sighs> would have saved my uh, $85 blouse too. Oh my God. Oh dear me. Okay, Wacky Wednesday is right, Patty. We need to rename it. Yeah, Someone asked if that frame is wood or plastic. <clears throat> Someone didn't watch from the, from the beginning, did they? Well, let's not shame people. <laughs> I'm not lives. shaming. I'm really not. No, this is, um, this is actually a plastic styrene <laughs> from 1973. I have the date right on the mirror. We want to make it look like a faux stone effect. Oh gosh. <laughs> Sandy said just do what I do, strip the shirt off when I'm painting. That would be a whole other oh, kind of channel. Oh, well there you go. You'd have yeah. to put this behind a paywall real quick, which yeah. I'm willing to do. Megan, absolutely <laughs> not. Oh, Tracy had a shingles vaccine yesterday, and she feels awful. Oh, Tracy. Through. You know what, Tracy? I'm proud of you. Good for you, though. Do you know that that is one of my biggest fears, is getting shingles? I've seen I older people who 
have truly suffered. Um, Grandma. It's nothing to mess around with. No, it's terrible. I remember when I got the chicken pox. And I remember I was five years old, like most of us my age were, probably about that age when we had got them. the chicken pox. I think I was in second grade. And um, <clears throat> so when I went to school, my mom went like to work, right? And my dad worked, um, he was probably the closest to uh, our school. Yeah, because Grandma was in Lockport. Uh, not at that time. Um, oh, Corky's? No, she wasn't at Corky's. Or, well, I don't know, maybe he wouldn't have let her leave. I'm not sure. My dad had the ability, the flexibility to be able to come and pick me up. But, you know, you don't miss work, especially for one of your kids. <laughs> being yeah. sick it's just unacceptable not i mean now especially possible. if she could be faking it <clears throat> oh my gosh and, and i have to say i i would have oh, some anxiety as a child and i was very nervous and very extremely shy and so i can see how my dad would think oh maybe probably something happened and she's crying about it and trying to figure out a way to get home so the, the nurse called her, you know, she's running a temperature and she's really not feeling well. We need you to come and pick her up. He was mad. <laughs> he was so mad at the thought that, because I was fine that morning, right? I was fine yeah. that morning. <clears throat> and it just came on me so fast. Yes. And the next day, woke up to a million spots all over my body and my dad felt terrible. I had a situation like that, and I'm glad Aunt Karen's here. I wonder if she remembers it, because <clears throat> she was my emergency contact at school, and I was sick in the morning, cried, and didn't want to go to school, and the rule was always if I'm not puking or didn't have a fever, I was going to school. You talk on right. I learned that from my father. <laughs> but then they sent me home from school, and I was so sick, and you had to, Aunt Karen came and got me. Yes. And I was laying on her couch, and I just remember feeling, even through my sickness, feeling so smug. <laughs> <laughs> and just waiting for you to get there and be so and be so dramatically sick on the couch and you and just l enjoying so much listening to you apologize and fawn over. Oh, me. of course. While <laughs> you're heaven. while your aunt Karen, no doubt. Oh, she was like prepared every oh, special poor thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want some homemade chicken you want, soup? You want your miniature little tea set that I have here just for you to play with, and I'll bring it to you. <laughs> I'll even make you some special Chuck Kids tea. Yes. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. Cheryl missed the whole first 30 minutes of this. Oh, I don't know Cheryl. if you want to rewatch Cheryl. I mean, you'll laugh at us, but. Um, Kimberly says we need to see the woman behind the camera. If you dig back far enough in the archives, you can find some footage <laughs> you of can. me. You can, you guys. <laughs> I am a. A cryptid. At or this if point. you get it's like seeing Bigfoot. <laughs> if you get the last, not this past issue, but the issue before of the Turquoise Iris Journal, oh, there's a beautiful don't even picture say of that. Megan. I am still infuriated by mom putting that picture in there. It's not even a picture; it's a still from a live. I usually only allow myself to be seen behind a paywall. But there are, I think there's one or two YouTube videos back, back in the archives where you can see. Yeah, you'll probably want to look up Burn Quilt. Mom, don't make it easy. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone hated me on that video. Not everyone. Not everyone, just most <laughs> everyone. Just some people <laughs> that I had to literally respond back like, um, excuse me, that is my daughter. Yeah. Let's just right. say I'm, I'm not a hit on screen. Okay. <laughs> I feel people were begging for more. <laughs> she was, oh my word, people were literally like, you could have chosen somebody who was more enthusiastic about what they were doing. And, oh my gosh. Jeez. And I, I wouldn't even say that I'm a hit off screen. We get complaints about that as well. <laughs> we, have, we have to hire my son to edit me out of videos so that people have the option to listen without me. <laughs> Those are just unedited videos. <laughs> Deb faked chicken pops. <gasps> How did you pencil. do that? She used a red pencil. Well, so did Hattie and Mabel. And remember my texties? I sent you a little video of Rebecca saying, 
girls, what happened? And they're like, we have chicken pops. Yes. <laughs> and yes, Mabel's like, I'm quilt. sick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. Deb was doing laundry and lost her balance, fell in the rolling hamper. I had to call Neil to help me out. Today? She, yeah, she thought she was going to wet her pants while you're in the laundry. <laughs> Join the club. <laughs> oh my god. Deb, how did it happen? I'm trying to actually visualize it, it. I'm trying to visualize it. Oh my goodness. Oh, thank you, Tracy. Oh, too funny. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this medium gray. And I kind of wish this was drier. Do you need a blow dryer? Well, I don't want to like take a chance of like popping a circuit or anything. Oh down. my god! You know, it's just about dry. Oh, Holly had shingles on her face and neck just before. Oh, COVID. you poor She's only in her thing. Oh, you poor thing. So the reason I use a really crappy brush is so that I can make sure that I get into all of these nooks and crannies of um, of this molding. I don't want any gold showing through this. guys any questions at all for us any deep burning questions while we give this a minute to dry please tell us actually I'll start with the first question Lisa asked where are Erlen asked where are we we're in the basement if that's what you mean it just looks different than our usual live every other Wednesday we do the basement chronicles so we are live from the basement yeah we're still trying to clean out the stuff and what do i do i go and pick up something at a church sale and yeah, <laughs> bring it back nice. to the basement but it really is i mean we don't have much furniture down here oh yeah nina that's a video i'm in or am i on in that or just my voice what i don't remember um of us waiting at the airport oh yeah you're full on in that that was a live that we did yeah you got to really dig for that one that color is cast iron, the first color that she used. Yeah, where will we? Well, we're going to go to, I think I'm going to Ohio with you, right? Yeah, you're going to Ohio okay. with me. Yeah. I'm sure we'll, so that's a road trip, so we'll, we'll definitely do some lives from the road. Oh, for sure. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So what have I been doing at home? Um, I, got, I got projects going on at home. And... Uh, that will all be revealed in um, the next edited video that I do, probably in about a week or so. But um, I'm excited. We're redoing. If you haven't, I've got I've got two um, previous edited videos. Um, one from this past, one from Sunday, and one from the week before. And I share clips in that from um, some cottage projects and some things that are going on at the shop so you might want to check those out yeah those videos are great that she's doing you like the you're saying that megan or yeah, yeah i think you're doing I, a great yeah job. i like them i think they're fun that was our trip to vegas mary jo oh yes. it sure was anyway um how long have you how long have you been following us i would like to know that let us know in the comments how long have you been following Ellen J. Girl? That is what I want to know. That's what she'd like to know. I'm just looking for any um, <laughs> any paint that might be a little bit. Um, oh, I'm totally out of camera. Um, any paint that might be gathered in uh, some of these spaces right here. And I'm just wiping it away with my brush, spreading out that paint so that I don't have those wet 
thick pockets of paint. Lori's been here for a year and a half. Liz has been here for four years. Cheryl Woods, a couple of years. Joyce, wow. for a year. Sandy, a couple of years. Holly's snuck in as the new IOD release soon. <laughs> well, yeah, we can say it soon, because what is that relative to I don't know person. anything. Well, yeah, I mean, eventually there's going to be another um, IOD release. Linda's I, I know that there, Megan. Oh. Well, there's always oh. going to be another release. Shh. Well, yeah, there is. <laughs> Holly said she found us in 2020. Thank you, COVID. Linda's been here for about a year. Lourdes is going on five years. Lourdes, I feel like it's long? been longer. Well, she, I think it's been longer than that, Lourdes. Lourdes I really do. This is one of our original. Sally Shepard is an early bird. Yep. Yeah. Tracy can't remember a couple years ago the first video she watched was a coffee table. Mary Jo's been here for a long time, at least five years. Mary Jo's been here. So let me ask you this. Back in the day, um, <coughs> we went live once a month over on IOD TV. We were kind of that what's the matter? I was hearing like something knocking around. I wasn't sure. It's just it's just I'm mixing fresco okay. into this paint and it's um, it's just this little glass dish. Okay, I thought, I thought it was coming from upstairs. It's a bunch of text JR. So I've mixed fresco into, into the little lamb. It's just a medium gray. Okay, let's see. You were saying we went live once a month. Yeah, back in IOD TV. <clears throat> Who remembers that? I remember. Man, we were a power lineup back then. Mara, Jane, that's where we kind of all got our start. And where a lot of you found us to begin with. And then the sad day when we left IOD TV. I know. We do love We and did love it. we had to be so creative about... Because we weren't allowed to mention any brands. Oh my gosh, remember that? And so we would always have to be very creative and say things like hobbly lobbly. <laughs> we also, yeah, we couldn't mention like we couldn't what mention kind of any paint of we were paint, using. Nothing. None of that. So yeah. that was kind of the bummer side of that, but um, definitely we got met a lot of new friends there. Absolutely. So you guys, this is so stinking cool. I want you to really be able to see this. <laughs> Mary Casey's been here three years. Nina's been here just since early spring of this year. Tommy, two years. Patrice, three or four. Elena, a year and a half. It's so funny. It seems to me, it feels to me like it's been longer for all of you. Kelly's been here two years. Shannon's been here a while. Lynn says three years. Deborah's been here for a year. Do you know that we have been going live for, I think, six seven years probably yep. all of the videos even from the old shop early iod that i did on video um from the shop next door they're they're all still on youtube on youtube not on youtube i'm so sorry on um facebook facebook so here's what i'm doing you guys and i surely hope that you can see this well and just this i've added fresco to this is little lamb it's a medium gray paint that's a great color it's a really good color and i'm using this old crappy brush and i'm just pouncing into this frame liz said iod is where she first saw you okay and she i did want to say she also said megan has been a wonderful addition oh that's so sweet <laughs> Deborah said the first episode she watched was the one where you got back from the DIY boot camp. Okay. When do we get the 2023 Tim Holtz Halloween release? Any day. I've ordered it. And you guys, I already have some Halloween that I was able to snag. And it's already on our website. So if you want to grab any earlier stuff from Tim, uh, I couldn't get much, but it is there. And... Um, I'm going to tell you that th they're great, great, great elements. We're going to be doing some fun stuff even with the older things. And um, yeah, I think I can announce today it is Halloween stuff. It will be up for, I, I think we'll try to get it up 
maybe if we work together after we're done here we yeah we, we can probably get it live today and I wish along with that if we could get our new class up yeah except I don't have my Halloween journal done yet yeah but you don't have to that's true yeah everyone's going to want to do this new Halloween journal class yeah. with us no it's, doubt. Yeah. No so great. anyway, no there, just to say this again, there's already some Tim Holtz Halloween on our website. Um, I would just search. I don't even know if I made that collection. Um, We're going to figure it out. Yeah. Right yeah. Here. Just check back a little bit later today and it'll be on there. Um, Joyce has this fusion paint mostly used for furniture. Furniture, kitchen cabinets. I use it for all kinds of decor and crafting. Um, it's actually one of my favorite ways to use fusion is to, um, I use it when I'm blending my decoupage papers. Like I use it a lot when I'm blending out and filling in the empty spaces around a decoupage paper like the Mint by Michelle, like Decoupage Queen. Um, I've shared lots of those techniques in video form that are uh, probably on YouTube or Facebook. Or right now she's painting a frame. Yeah. Oh, all kinds of things. Pots, signs. The great thing about Fusion is it's indoor-outdoor. It has a sh seven year um, span, lifespan on the shelf as long as it's sealed appropriately. And the other cool thing is that looks better already. Wait till that gets lightened up. Oh my gosh. And the other cool thing is um, it will withstand freeze-thaw cycles. It's made up in Canada. They have been in the paint business, house paint business. Fusion has. Um, Fusion is under like Homestead House, mm -hmm. and they have been in the house paint and milk paint business for many years. They know how to make paint. Yeah. Linda asks, what is the best, what is best to paint a small couch? I've watched for a couple of years, and she loves Lynn. Oh, that's so sweet. What is, what is on the sofa now? Does Fusion still have Goddess Ashwagandha? No. I would say, what would you say is most comparable to that? I'm not sure. Every one of their colors, even the ones that are not limited release, like for example, Sacred Sage was such a popular color. Um, they have just done a new color called Newell, which is probably the closest to Sacred Sage as I've seen. But I think it's even better. It's it's a little more. No, she's got a Sasha Ganda. She's asking. About yeah, but somebody asked about. And oh, so what I was saying, what I'm getting to, is that if they just don't reproduce a color that was part of a limited edition collection. No, but what would they be may close? shift it? I I'd have to look. It has more of a gray undertone. Yeah. So um, cobblestone maybe. Although that's that's a little too gray. Yeah. I think maybe. Uh, hmm. Yeah, that was an awesome color. You know what? I'm going to get back to you on that. Holly said, what about on clothing? Yeah, Fusion's great on clothing. It's awesome on clothing yeah. for stenciling. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Doesn't come out. Can it on, be used on marble? On marble. I think it's, well, marble is very porous. Um, so I think that paint would absorb into it. You just want to make sure that any surface that you put it on, it's great on metal, on glass. Um, laminate. You just want to make sure that you prep appropriately. How would you prep marble? You know, that's a good question. I would just make sure it's really clean and I would, um, and, and I don't know if because it it's very, very porous, if it would continue to lift the paint. But you know, here's what you do. You, um, if you have something that's laminate, for example, and you want to paint it, or marble, or stone, or ceramic, or anything like that, go to your big box store and get, um, you know how you can get pick up the little samples? Like pick up a little sample of a laminate piece. Pick up a little sample of um, marble, whatever you need to do, and try it on that. 
What are you laughing about, Megan? I'm just, well, Patty, and now I'm switched over to YouTube. I was just, there's a lot of comments that came in on Facebook after you asked how long people have been watching. So okay. I just finished up there, but I just spotted Patty responding to Deb's fall. And she said she tripped at work once, fell backwards, and got her butt stuck in a plastic milk crate, and then tipped over like a turtle. Her boss was on the floor laughing with no help. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's pretty great. So you guys, you're gonna like come at this from many different angles, so that you can make sure that you have got every surface covered. Oh, Jolie's been here for about four months, so she's watched us, but this was her first live, and she said it's so wonderful to see such awesome, clean reality. I hope we're clean. Oh, I that's really, so do try fun. To keep it clean. <laughs> we, we do, other than, <laughs> other than spilled paint everywhere, yeah. right? That other is than not actual, clean. Actual fill. Yes, yes. <laughs> Uh, just recently, Deborah started watching, trying to figure out the schedule. So we're Monday and Friday consistently every week at 1.30. We go live on Facebook and YouTube, and every other Wednesday we are here in the basement. And then we do um, some private live classes, which are super fun. We're trying mm -hmm. for about once a month on those. So our next one, we just finished up um, a fabric journal class that was really, really fun. And our next one in August will be a Halloween journal. Love those. And we will have a very special Christmas project. Last year we did the hymn board. This year we have another um, fun uh, project. Not as, smaller. not as huge yeah. as the hymn much board, to ship. but just as neat. Deborah, we can't tell you when or if. What? You little sneaky, sneaky girl. What is she so You know what she wants to know. <sighs> you guys, you're, oh, you are so lucky that you didn't hear any deep, dark secrets the other day when I forgot to turn the camera on. They would love it. Oh, I know they would. <laughs> Cheryl said she's been... She started watching us on YouTube and it's been love at first sight. Oh, Cheryl, I always loved Cheryl's comments. Same with Michelle Cook. Oh, both, Cheryl Macedo? Yeah. Yes. Both very thoughtful. Cheryl was funny as oh, can yes. be. We knew she was one of our people right at the beginning. Same funny with Patty as Levine. Can be. Yep. She's been here like four years. Is Patty here? Yeah. Hi, Patty. She just told the story about the milk crate. Oh, dear. <laughs> Patty, we miss you. I know. We miss all of our girls from Camp EJG. BB's here only three months from <gasps> Iowa. Well, hello. Welcome. I'm also wondering, like, how the more recent people find us. Yeah, I'd like to know that, too. Because I understand, like, the IOD TV people and, like, how COVID would lead people here when you're just scrolling. <laughs> but, like, now how are people finding us? Well, and especially since it's tougher to get yourself out there. And even though, you know, we've got a, a decent following, but um, unless you follow and interact with our page, like leaving a comment or, you know, actually, actually going to Facebook and saying follow, that means you want us to show up in your feed. Because they want to make it as complicated as possible. Exactly. Yes, exactly. So um, I don't know with the, the bazillions of accounts that are out there, you know, the likelihood of finding um, something that I'm doing live, if you've never seen me before, would be very slim. Deborah has a great question. Is Old Crappy a new brand of brushes that we're selling? <laughs> <laughs> This is the one inch old crappy? Yep. <laughs> this is our signature oh. one inch old crappy brush. This is uh, the $300 Stallmeister old crappy. Yep, but we're yeah, selling it yeah. for 50 cents. Yeah, yeah. Um, yes. Um, Sandy has a great question. Sure. What was the first live you ever did? Oh, I'll, I'll tell you what the first live was that I ever did. Speaking of fusion mineral paint, um, I was at a fusion conference a stockist retreat, a retailer's like educational retreat. And the last day, Jenny Lynn spoke to us about how live, um, live events 
on Facebook were where it's at. Like that that was going to be a big thing that we need to all focus on. And of course, just like me, oh my gosh, I can't go live. that table this way just a I can't, so I can't, I can't go live. I, that's impossible. There's no way I can, I can do that. And, um, I've never been on camera before. I'm not talented. Um, what if I mess up? Nobody's going to watch me. All of those things are the things that we all have struggled with when we first go live. And um, so Jenny Lynn actually uh, said, we're, we're going to go live now, and I'm going to demonstrate how that's done. We're going to go live on Facebook from this, this little event thing. And I need one of you to come here come up here and you're going to go live with me and we'll just chat about fusion mineral paint and your business and so forth so nobody was raising their hand and I'm thinking hell no <laughs> like, but then I thought you know what why not if I can't do it here with somebody sitting right next to teaching me you. Oh. teaching me and having an actual conversation with me I don't have to think about what I'm teaching what I have to say all I need to do is get in front of that camera with her so I slowly like I raised my hand and um, and honestly I was so comfortable with her I didn't even think about the camera didn't even think about that camera and my thought has always been and I and to anybody that you know if you're in this business and it's like oh I can't go live or whatever you know I started then I started that day and then I decided to try it on my own and I set up a camera and I had the wrong angles and I but I knew that what I had to offer was interesting and good and I also knew that what I had to offer was the reality of creating and that we don't always do things perfectly so you're gonna see me mess up I don't try to have well I try to have a highly polished situation <laughs> going on here but it never seems to work out but I think that all in all people appreciate that and understand that we're just all like trying to figure this whole thing out well there's we're, so much to learn from the failures as much as the successes well and it's then that they are not failures 100%. it's then that those things are not failures it's it's when they become learning um learning steps and so yeah that was i mean how long seven years ago mm -hmm. six and a half seven years ago well, probably yeah yeah Easily. Just about, because I feel like it was like Henry going to kindergarten. I mean, we, I'm just, I always like The first ones I did. School is when we were really starting. Yeah, and I think the first ones I did, you you weren't around for those. I mean, I've I, been here since you opened the first shop, even just on the yeah. weekends. But your first, I was not helping with her lives. In the beginning, she was literally just holding the camera herself. Like she's I was, taking I was like literally and also literally that. doing like rubber banding it onto like a wooden stick that JR built for me. Yeah. But <laughs> there was no selfie stick. No. And then when I started filming for a long time, I was just, it would be full hour lives where I was just holding the camera oh and trying. You could, everybody was like, Megan's so loud. Why is Megan so loud? We can't hear Lynn. Megan is so loud. And that's because I was holding her phone as the camera, so the microphone was closer to me, but that's the only way we like knew how to do it. And we also couldn't invest in things like microphones or... Yeah. There was no excuse to do that because we barely had any followers. So I was holding the camera, then we got a stabilizer, and I would hold the camera at least with a stabilizer and a microphone pointing at you. That was our big first step, equipment-wise. Mm -hmm. And but I was still standing there for a full hour just holding a camera on mom. Yeah, and it was something. <laughs> wow. Yeah, but that did help. That was a big step up for us. Yeah, it was. Getting it was. Stabilizer. You guys, this is casement, and this is the other color that I'm using. Again, only three colors. And I think it's already looking like a stone effect. Um, 
unfortunately I'm against this background so I don't know how easy that is to see but can you guys see that okay Deb Bird wants to know would you paint a whole bedroom set the same color if you want to it's your bedroom set girl but would she wants to know would you and I understand why she's how she's what she means um well I tend not to like I tend not to do that. So for example, in my bedroom right now, I have um, I have uh, the barn door wall behind, the carriage house door wall that is painted, I think it's painted in casement. I have a side table on one side that is uh, Champlain. I have a mid-century modern dresser that I have painted in raw silk. I am one that's like I don't need it to be the right color. I figure you know it, whites are whites and if it's a collected look you're going for it would be very hard to um, find exact matches. Um, in paint or finishes. In other words, as Cheryl answered, no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no matchy matchy, she said. <laughs> no. Okay, thank you. Yes, no, I wouldn't. So this is casement, and I'm blending this right into this paint. I've been doing that, and you guys couldn't even see it. <laughs> So yes, I am working wet into wet, and it's all kind of blending together. I just want to really pounce this in, and I'm just going to continue to um, lighten this up in areas. What I think I'm going to do with this, uh, which I cannot do today because my paint is wet, I think I'm going to let this dry after I get this all kind of worked in with a lighter color. I'm probably going to do this, then go over it again with the casement and blend that in so it lightens it up. I think I'm going to use some white wax on this. Oh, yeah. And it will give it that very chalky, um, real chalky finish that's like, oh, sea salt or... Um, mineral deposits, that kind of thing that can happen on natural stone. Nancy says she has a big mirror that she started a while back and she thinks she's going to do this. I'm, I love this. I'm telling you, I love this. I would even, if I didn't put the mirror back in this, I'm telling you, you know what I would do with this? I would hang That's this so on the wall and I would put another piece of art inside of it. I'd hang a piece of art inside this frame. But it would make a cool headstone too. It would. People have often asked about that headstone we have in our yeah, yard have often that asked says about it as well that says, says mother. mother. It's highly disturbing. <laughs> we found it at a flea market. <laughs> yeah, but it came from someone's grave. No, I don't think it did. I think it was it was probably from someone who cut them and then it was a sample piece. Whatever you gotta tell yourself. Kimberly says, since we all mess up, you are just genuine and admit it. We learned from that. Thank you for making yourself vulnerable for us. I love your honesty. Well, that's all we got. And you <laughs> know something? We don't know how to be another way. That's right. And you know what? It's all we got here for today. But look at this. Check this out. See how by adding additional light color to this with that fresco in there, I am really getting a pretty stone-like effect by just stippling with our number one crappy brush. Um, if you guys need one of these, please let us know. We're happy to uh, see what we got laying around in the sink and out, out back. Um, but yes, that's our crappy line of brushes that... Um, Old are crappies. exclusive to Ellen Ellen J. Goods. They're old crappies. Okay. Al said that was a great tip about getting a piece to test on at a big box store. Absolutely. There you go. You can test all your products on that kind of thing. You can test a transfer. You can test inlays. You can do paints, finishes, 
do it all, man. And then you let us know how you made out. I love hearing from people saying, yeah, I tried Fusion on XYZ and it didn't work or it did work. Yeah. Mickey, we do not have any in-store classes coming. Mom does some demos on Saturdays, some free demos, and then we do our camps once or twice a year. Otherwise, they are um, all virtual. Um, Anna said, how about another fall project with the half pumpkins from last year? Once we get to oh, Christmas in July, we will oh. have lots of fall for you. Guess what I picked up yesterday? I picked up some perfect carving pumpkins. You did? Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited about fall and Halloween and all of the all of the stuff. All of the stuff. All right, you guys. So um, I will again I'll take a glamour shot of this when I finish it up today or tomorrow and I'll get this posted. But um, I want to thank you all for hanging out with us here today. Hold on, Sandy said regarding the IOD release. You don't understand. We have to plan our menus around the new releases. Are we eating beans all week or can we splurge one day and have a bologna sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. It is fair. I understand. And I understand the excitement about these kinds of things. We have got some awesome releases coming up like i said we've got three tomorrow that are going to be live one of well the tim holtz will be live later today and um and i'll text you guys and let you know when that's when that's up hopefully within an hour yeah and um we've got two other live launches tomorrow you you've been seeing hints of mara's uh, vintage retail therapy by mara her stencils i'm so excited i have talked with her a lot through this process and you know kind of um just talked about some things that i would like to see in the stencils and 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 just i'm excited because they're beautiful and um i think you're gonna love them and then i i one can i just one last question from Sandy? sure she's just these are important sure. questions if we do sell out of the old crappy brushes yeah can they can they buy a new one and you will crap it up for them uh well actually it would be a pre-order situation <laughs> yeah, you might have to wait a while uh, for it but it's time yeah. and love and tlc to get a brush that crappy yeah so it's going to cost you probably two to three times what the new brush <laughs> would cost you <laughs> you guys thank you so much for watching um join us on friday we'll be up in the studio and we're still doing christmas in july and we're going to be doing a project from the oh my gosh i don't know if it's going to be from the Jeanne d'Arc book, the Creative Christmas Anno 1808, or if it's going to be the new release, I'm yes, leaning. Yes, Recycled has a reveal tomorrow. Yes, yes. So I'm kind of like, okay, how can I do like Recycled and Mara stencils all in the same wonderful thing? And I might be able to do it. So um, you'll have to check in Friday to see. How about that? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. We love you, and we'll see you on Friday. So Bye. tonight, we'll go back and watch from the beginning. <laughs> She's late. Oh, <laughs> like an hour late. <laughs> so <Yeah. laughs> Megan, I'm sorry. I think you are going to have to yeah, that's, put that yeah, that's in her folder. Unexpected. Yeah, yeah. You got to put that in Susan's folder. All right, Susan, we'll see you down in HR um, shortly. All right?